guys, welcome to 1906. Wait, what? Yep. I think this map is from 1906. As Bulgaria is still a part of the Ottoman Empire and the Balkan Wars still don't appear to have happened. And I believe that. Based on the map. What I'm inferring. Because Finland's part of Russia, as you can see. Ireland's part of the UK. Alsace-Lorraine is part of Germany. So it's definitely after 18... 72. I don't know when the map is, but I'm saying 1906 because Bulgaria left the Ottoman Empire was a 1909. And so Germany decides to invade Austria-Hungary. And yeah, as I'm sure you have guessed, Austria wasn't that stable at this time. But Austria is going to have an advantage in this video that nobody will be able to guess. Fine, they get extra strength. Maybe, maybe not. Who even knows? Oh, well, yeah. With Germany being strong and invading Czechia. And making a spearhead towards Vienna. And while Austria attempts two offensives. An Alpine offensive. Well, that goes like this. As you would guess. And then one here. Which they march up into quickly into, into Prussia of the German Empire. And they make a counteroffensive at the Vienna push, stopping Germany from reaching Vienna. But Germany continues its offensive. And this offensive goes pretty well. But quickly it starts changing. And the Austrian Alpine army continues its advance. And this one does. Germany sending forces kick the Austrians back. But Austria was strategic about this. Because, well, they knew if they got pushed back, they would, would have a chance to make an offensive here. And so they're trying to keep the forces back from Prague and Vienna. And then they put troops back here. Which makes an offensive. Yep. Why is Austria doing so good? Because they do in the beginning probably. Maybe. But Germany changes it, its tactics. As it makes the southern border smaller. But there's a few countries that don't like this country. And yeah. Of them including many of the southern neighbors of Austria. With Germany focused troops here now. And they move troops down here. And well. They go deep into. And start encircling Prague. With the battle of Prague having broke out. And Prague gets encircled. While Austria starts focusing troops to try and take back. But the counteroffensive fails. As well, their A2 lead in the city had fallen. And they're trying to cut that area off. But then Italy sees the opportunity to get land. While France sees the opportunity to get Alsace-Lorraine back. So they go against Germany. On the side of Austria, which makes no sense. Not many nations don't like this. And then France pushes into Alsace-Lorraine. As they want it back. And they move into Italy. But Austria is in a bit of trouble right now. As Italy's offensive goes pretty well. Well, Serbia at this time didn't really like Austria. Nor did Romania and many of the Balkan powers. Which kind of does not go that great for Austria. With these nations just entering the war. The Ottoman Empire stays neutral for some reason, I guess. They would. Italy moves troops to the other front line to push France back, which was actual surprise. 
and Germany decides they will try and attempt the same thing. But at first it goes well, then it kind of goes bad as they are kicked back a huge chunk. But they still manage to hold on to Prague and they kick France out. But France in trouble now as Germany makes a small offensive in. As they now build a defensive just to keep them back. But if Montenegro having started a small campaign so has Serbia and Romania started a small campaign. As Hungary has decided to rise up and revolt. Yep, they revolt. The Hungarian revolution begins. And yeah. And well, it goes pretty well at first. As it completely went bad for Austria. And well, France is thinking of getting out of the war. As I see Germany is planning an offensive. With Germany basically saying you can leave under this one small guideline. I get a bit of land. Basically this land. And yeah. It's a big chunk of land. That's just going to be annexed in. Which as you can see. And France leaves the war. After signing the Treaty of Berlin. Yep, there was a treaty in Berlin about this. With Austria becoming more and more unstable as the days go on. And oh yeah. And then Serbia's offensive starts going well. As many people are helping them. And Italy makes an offensive down in. With their navy landing on most of these islands. And then even landing down the coast. And why is this going so well? Because, well, yeah. It's a different kind of fighting. Although. And the Hungarian revolution being a well fought through revolution. And yeah. The Austro-Hungarian Empire in this timeline falls earlier. And yeah, the Germans march in to the north. And well, yeah. Well, the Hungarians move to the south a bit. And then they move here. As they move down into this area. And yeah. As it becomes increasingly known that they're going to fall in a while, in a few months, maybe even days, weeks, I mean, but it's much slower than today's conflict. Because yeah. And well, after Russia notices this declining empire, they decide to intervene. As a lot of Ukrainians lived in this area and Polish people and Russia was pretty something, what are they? Well, they really want land, I guess. I don't know. They did eventually get it. And well, with Serbia rising to a height and Germany now starting a new offensive headed towards Vienna. And this is probably the quickest offensive as they start encircling it. When the Hungarians see this, they come over to try and push them in, but they don't really get far. And if I see some fighting beginning today, not today, but in the timeline at this time, basically. And yeah, let's see the treaty. 
Germany annexing all of Austria and Czechia, basically. And Hungary becoming this. Yugoslavia came. Italy became scary. And Romania just became like a cursed version of greater Romania. Germany is like ruined, but yeah. Slovakia is just that small blob, basically. Yep. The Ottoman Empire is scared because, well, Serbia somehow became very strong. And while Russia has gained a bunch of land, see? They'll probably try to expand even further to the last seeing this situation of that scary Germany. Or maybe they would strengthen their military. But who knows? They weren't a really strong military, although they were. If that makes any sense. They were weak, but strong. And yeah. And yeah. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. We are at 419 subscribers. So that's 181 away from our goal by July 1st. So if you could, please like, subscribe, comment, and all that stuff. That'd be great. That's all for today's video. Wild Mapper out. Do you want more like this? If you do, yeah. And the official Wild Mapper out.